<laughs> oh god i saw this video title i just started cracking up what i eat in a day as a fat girl i mean at least she has a sense of humor about it and uh, honestly the uh the content for like diet reviews hasn't been too great you know all the videos are like 30 40 minutes long which is kind of crazy to uh to review but speaking of fat girls the dating scene for gentlemen like me you know even fat girls are hard to, like not just fat, pretty fat girls you know i'm down for that you know like if she has a pretty face and she's not too sloppy that's actually one of my favorite things you know because you know if, if like she's that big her priority is food not like talking to other dudes uh but anyway with like all the dating apps and stuff now tinder and social media even like fat girls get too much attention from guys so it's not as easy as it used to be you know it's even hard to get the anyway I, let's get to the day of meeting before i get myself canceled uh so let's see if we can help this young lady <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, so I just thought I would do a video today on what I eat on a day where, you know, I don't give a... So, yeah, um, I'm just... So she's like Muslim, right? Because she's wearing this? Documenting those days where I just eat whatever I want. Yeah, probably the majority of my time. Basically when I'm not trying to diet or lose weight or anything like that. When I just have all of that on the back burner. Um, so I just thought I would show you, like, an honest, like, full day of eating, basically. I mean, it seems like it's been on the back burner, but the problem is, you, even when people go to follow diets or think they're eating healthy, the modern conventional wisdom, what most people understand is healthy or what you need to do to lose weight, isn't actually correct. And there's just some people who are so metabolically and just their overall health from their whole poor lifestyle they just cannot lose weight on those types of conventional methods and the information they need to figure it out is just hard to access quickly so um things i make you know i think pretty much everything is going to be eating at home today i'm just you know staying at home just like making things all day so <laughs> Um, I'll show you, I'm going to show you what I have for breakfast. Kind of when I eat like this, I don't really have like breakfast, lunch, dinner. I just have meal after meal. I kind of just like graze all day on things. So, um, I, I'm not trying to be defiant or anything. <laughs> She's like really kind of heavy. You know, that reminded me of, you guys ever see the movie Fatso? It's a classic, bro. It's a classic. Hold on. Let me show you guys this. That's nothing. Did you ever suck the jelly out of a jelly donut and then fill it with chocolate swirl ice cream? Uh, mm. uh, I like to stuff a jelly donut with Reese's peanut butter cup, then put it in a warm oven and let the chocolate and everything melt into the dough. Uh, if you guys never saw this movie, look it up. It's very funny old school really hilarious like that when i eat junk and i mistreat my body it's just that it's just really really see this is like the opposite of me you know part of the reason i've done pretty well on youtube is because i'm very blunt straight to the point i just get into the video like right now we're a minute and 27 seconds in and she hasn't really given us anything interesting you really really difficult uh and i haven't been able to yet tackle this um problem with food um so i think what i'm gonna do is start uh maybe just put um mukbangs on the back burner for now or you guys can send her this video after we review it and she can know what she should be doing if we ever get to the day of eating we're 25 percent of the way into your video more on my My cat making noise. Yo, this poor girl is probably like eating all this crappy food in such a high EMF environment. It's just it's how most people function, just at a very low level. And just focus more on um, getting back to the gym and having a, a type of health journey and uh, 
also a kind of support system for other people who want to get healthy and, and do it seriously this time. Because, you know, of all the times I've failed, which is every... Bro, I just got a genius idea. Bro, since I'm like one of the only people who knows actually how to get healthy and lose weight while basically eating whatever you want, if it's high quality, I can... I mean, I can't do this now. We don't have the budget, but I can start a fat girl camp. But like, I can be like prejudiced and only allow pretty fat girls in. Oh my God, this is such a genius idea. I can have, I'll be like a one man Amish, like breeding cult, dude. I'll have so many pretty kids. It's such a good idea, dude. It's such a good idea. What are we going to call it, bro? What are we going to call it? I'll think of a name. Single time. Um... Frankie's fat chicks? No, no. <laughs> you know, this time I have to think, what if I don't give up? What if I do this? What kind of, I mean, what, what would I be like as a healthy, healthy person? And I know that life will only get better, but there's a tough, tough, tough barrier to cross. Almost like this road. Frankie's fitness this retreat. Road. Yeah, that's all food. <laughs> anyway, um, and I have to cross the other side. And by the way, you can't really see because of the lighting, but uh, there we go. There's the nice beach. I know there's a, you know, there's in Kuwait, the, there's everywhere they have these parking lots. But um, look at the beautiful ocean. <laughs> All right. So let's get to what I ate. Hi. Not the best view. <laughs> what a sweetie. My cat. Here you go. Come say hi. Come here. <laughs> you know what drives me crazy is that and and look i understand people like pets but when i see women and a lot of people women especially though it just it irks me how much they care and love their pets but they don't do the same towards their children or they wouldn't do this it's just to me it's like it's so out of touch with like reality and what the right thing to do is mm, she purrs all the time you're so sweet Let's uh, let's do this day and get into what I'm gonna eat. So yella. All right. The first thing I'm gonna have is I'm gonna make some kofta sandwiches or meatball um, sandwiches made with uh, these frozen beef meatballs. They're very tasty, and I'm gonna use some tortilla bread for this recipe. And I'm gonna put a few frozen meatballs in the air fryer and then I'm going to put some ragu pizza sauce uh, on each one and I'm going to add some shredded cheddar cheese just showing you a chicken I'm gonna make later for dinner so stay tuned for that the eggs here are for Salah he's gonna have some egg sandwiches instead he likes that better and I'm going to put my favorite Algerian sauce. I swear I cannot. This sauce is just so tasty. I love it. And there you go. The meatball's on. I'm going to pop them into. I mean, most people will look at this and think it's super unhealthy, but it's actually a base of like protein and carbohydrates and fats. So since there's a lot of animal food, you know, you're getting nutrition. The biggest issue with this meal is it's all like really processed, packaged, frozen. So the meatballs, how much meat is actually in there, what preservatives are in there, it's vegetable seed oils, it's probably a lot of chemicals and crap in those meatballs. Same with the tortillas, you know, nothing's organic, nothing's high quality, and they're packaged like that. So the anti-scorbutic value is very low because I have to add all these preservatives to them. And the food is just stale sitting around so long. It's super important, you know, regardless of the quality of your diet, to try to get stuff that's pretty fresh or unaltered. The cheese, I mean, again, if everything was high quality, it wouldn't be an issue. But if you're getting just regular packaged, processed, conventional cheese, it's just so bad for you. And then she puts those sauces on it, which is probably just more chemicals and crap in them. So overall, if this was like super high quality ingredients and she maybe ditched the sauces, it would actually be a reasonably healthy meal because you're giving your body what it needs. Animal protein, caloric nutrition, energy. To the oven for a few minutes and make everything warm and melty and here we go a couple of juice boxes some doritos and my yummy meatball tortilla i mean juice boxes doritos 
the biggest issue with this meal is probably the vegetable seed oils that are in all of these processed foods, the omega-6 throwing off her appetite, causing her to eat more and causing inflammation in the body. You know, Doritos, all these chips are fried in vegetable seed oils. They're made with low quality, non-organic ingredients. The spice mixtures and high spice foods can be hard on the liver. Something like orange juice is okay, but again, it's not organic. It's probably full of fluoride, chlorine, pollutants, whatever was used to grow the conventional oranges and then process them with the machinery. It's in the juice box. You know, what's the lining of it? How many pollutants are in it? It's just, you got to go high quality and do things fresh yourself. Tia sandwiches. Let me take a bite for you guys here. It's just so delicious. Saucy, cheesy, creamy. <laughs> Yum. And now uh, after that, I just did my dishes, put most of them away. Had a couple more here on the dry rack, but all my dishes are done. I feel good. Now I'm going to clean my air fryer. I saw this hack on TikTok. I'm going to try it. It actually really does work, but I still had to take the the one part out and scrub the bottom. But for the most part, all the dirt did come off of the uh, the rack part and see. I've honestly never had too much success. Like I bought an air fryer and I've never had that much success with the recipes. I don't know. If you guys have any good ones, let me know. But I'd rather just use the oven or actually fry something. Here you just add boiling water and some dish soap and you just let it sit for a bit and let it uh, get rid of most of the, the grease. It actually does work pretty well. So I would say this is a good pre-air fryer cleaning method for sure. And now my housework is done and I'll light my favorite rose vanilla candle and prepare to have some coffee. My favorite. Bro, ladies eat that stuff up. Guys, if you're watching this, go buy your girl some BS candle and give it to her as a little gift this weekend. Trust me. Trust me. This cafe and I'm going to have some shisha actually. And uh, yeah. So here's my little Nescafe area in the kitchen. Yes. Gonna have some Nescafe 3 in. Hidden, hidden Nescafe sponsorship by Big Coffee. I mean, she said she grazes throughout the day, but all she did was have a giant meatball sub One. with some chips. Yeah, it's rich and creamy. These are some nice gift bags from Salah's business. I just thought I would show you. Um, they are really nice. I like the design and we give these to friends and family with some of his products from his business inside and they really love that. So hopefully this is my last shisha. I'm trying to quit. The cat, don't worry about it, is in the room with the door closed with Salah and, um, which is why you don't see her walking around. She's always around me. And look at this gorgeous, um, these cute lights. I, I, I didn't notice this until recently. They match with our <laughs> curtains. Wow. Seven, like a... seven minutes into a nine minute video, this girl is just completely absent minded. Like, wh it, what I eat in a day as a fat woman, we don't want to see the outside. We want to see you talk about losing weight. We don't see, we want to, we don't see a house. We want to see the food. A um, little bit of decorative lighting here on the ceiling. She's going to cram four meals and in the last two minutes. It goes well with our uh, curtains, our decor. And I love the ambiance of it. Very relaxing. Uh, these are the vents for our AC. Alright, now I'm going to have some of these barbecue flavored pumpkin seeds. They're so good. They're my favorite. And I go through quite a bit of these. In a Th this is an example. Hold on, let me. Day. If she's eating bags of pumpkin seeds, like this is the problem with conventional nutritional wisdom. Pumpkin seeds, high omega-6, high in anti-nutrients. Actually known... Uh, for parasite cleanses because of kind of how hard they are on digestion. So you're eating this stuff. It's, you know, it's collating minerals from your food and your diet and your body. It's putting a lot of stress on your nutrition stores. And there's so many other anti-nutrients in it. Plus the omega-6 is just going to keep stimulating your appetite over and over again as you continue to eat the seeds. And it's not like they don't get digested. You know, they're basically pure fat. And that fat is, is, is going to be stored as excess because it's omega-6. You know, we're not supposed to have that much of it in our diet. You know, imagine eating this amount of seeds in a natural setting. It would be very difficult to do. Because they're salty and I just mindlessly actually snack on them. She mentioned they're salty. If these were just raw, natural pumpkin seeds, you couldn't eat more than a handful of them because they're not that palatable. But once you roast them, once you add salt, once you add seasoning, then it becomes an unnaturally palatable food um, that you should not be eating. 
So you have to be careful with the base food when increasing the palatability. So I eat a lot of those. I'm going to have a bunch of those to eat now as a snack. Yeah, we see you got a garbage bag for them. All right, them. and then I'm going to have Just a nice salad, which is my favorite salad here is some shredded mozzarella cheese and some French salad dressing. <laughs> the comedy writes itself. <laughs> we can't even see the salad. Uh, it's really delicious and uh, yeah. It, it honestly just looks like a bowl of cheese and like sauce. That's really what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like she put some cheddar cheese sauce on top of some mozzarella. I have a bag of Doritos with it and a Reese's peanut butter and two juice boxes again and some cold water. Yeah. I feel like this is what a kid would eat if they could just have whatever they want. Doritos, Reese's cups. Oh my God. I mean, we already said why the chips are so bad. Reese's Cups, you know, there's some actual decent organic peanut butter products on the market with high quality ingredients, but it's it's really two components. You know, you want to go organic to reduce the pollutants, the chemicals, the pesticides, and you want to go natural products to remove like the vegetable seed oils and the low quality stuff they add that we shouldn't be eating. Reese's Puffs does not do that. Reese's Cups does not do that, although they taste pretty good and a lot of people like them. Just dark chocolate and organic peanut butter is much, much, much healthier and it's kind of the same craving. The salad though, I mean... Probably just a lot of omega-6 in that dressing. And then the actual vegetation, usually there's not too much of an issue. It's just empty calories and roughage and not giving your body any, uh, you know, nutrition it actually needs, fats, carbs, proteins. Yes. All right. And now I'm going to have this really delicious corn I made. It's um, it looks great. corn and cilantro and butter and lemon juice and salt and pepper and they serve these corn they have these like corns this looks like something a pregnant girl would eat if she was having crazy ideas i mean it's probably corn from a can at least she put some butter on it this isn't really healthy and the amount of calories you're going to digest from corn is usually not that great unless it's like fermented and ground up into a tortilla lime juice in there so this this is not really Again, just probably filling up her stomach. Stands in grocery stores here and like different stores. And they sell this like steamed corn. Or I don't know if it's steamed, but it's like they have this big kettle full of corn with this buttered lemon sauce. And oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite things now. By the way, all these meals are spaced out sort of throughout the day, like maybe a couple hours in between. I just, uh, just for video purposes, I put them all together, of course, all the clips together. So yeah, I love this snack. Okay, Salah and I have already started to eat this, but this is the chicken I made you see at the beginning of the video. This rice is delicious. It has cheese, blended up red pepper, tomato, she and put onion. cheese in the rice? And um, butter, and it's so good. And then I uh, had a little salad with green onion, lettuce, cucumber, dill, and parsley. So, yeah, this is uh, our... I mean, it's just three meals, right? She had the, the meatball sub for breakfast. <laughs> meatball sub. <laughs> Fat girl video meatball sub for breakfast. <laughs> she had a bowl of French dressing uh, for lunch <laughs> with more Doritos and Reese's Puffs. <laughs> and the, the dinner is actually quite reasonable compared to what we've seen the rest of the day. No juice boxes, no Doritos. Um, honestly, if she just omitted the juice boxes and Doritos, that's a great first step. I mean... Rice, we've spoken about arsenic concerns, but organic rice is okay to have like once or twice a week. Add in the butter and the cheese. I mean, a little butter on the rice is fine, but add th that crappy cheese to the rice. I mean, come on. Uh, problem with most chicken is it's high omega-6. The chicken's on a very poor quality feed. It's very, very inflammatory meat. And when the omega-6 content in your diet is so high, not only is it turning your fat stores unhealthy because like you are what you eat. If you eat a lot of omega-6 fats, that's what your body's fat stores turn into, and it's just inherently inflammatory to you. It also increases your appetite, so you end up just eating more of that crappy food. That's why this girl probably has these huge plates and huge caloric portions, when if she just went to a high-quality version of the food, she probably would only eat half as many calories and feel a lot better and still be full. For dinner together here. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. This is what I ate today. I mean, this is pretty rough. We'd have to see what she eats when she thinks she's being healthy but if everything was just high quality and overall the amount of chemicals and negative things and omega-6 was reduced she would start getting a lot healthier a lot quicker 
uh, which would involve probably a little more cooking and, and prep on her part. But the food can be just as enjoyable and just as tasty and even childlike if she wants like juice boxes and stuff. But you just have to invest a bit more time and money into sourcing the food and, and formulating the diet. But thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you guys uh, had a little fun this weekend. So if you do want to go to frank com, you can support me through all of my businesses where I try to provide you guys with high quality and unique health foods. Outside of that, if you guys could drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And I'll see you guys soon. Come on, bro. You guys got to support the businesses. I'm never going to have my fat girl parade, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm.